All right, guys, so here's the RC Empower 2308 motor. This is the GTS 2308-2150KV. Uh, these are the new uh, sizes from the same series, the GTS series. Very well-made motors, so let's, uh, let's take a look at them. So they come in the usual um, RC Empower box. They've been using this box for uh, quite some time and uh, pretty well packaged, pretty minimal stuff, they just give you some screws these are looks like uh, for 3mm frames that are kind of outdated so not much use to use the screws and they give you some length of wire for your ESCs, uh, doesn't look like it's quite a lot, it's only about 200 millimeters. you'll have to get more wire if you want to mount it to the 4-in-1 ESC and they do give you a, a low profile night lock so that's good and the motor itself so as you can see this is the type of motor that they're using tabs the wires are not attached I don't mind them I kinda like this uh, uh, this idea it works pretty well I haven't heard of anybody having any issues with these except that you know you just have to solder it right there and uh, as I mentioned before the one advantage this gives you is that uh, it does provide a shield uh, between the uh, where the mount screws go and and the stator the windings so when you're mounting the motors uh, if your screws are too long you'll hit that PCV you'll feel it so you know make sure you don't tighten it too much because you may end up cracking the PCV too, but it'll shield it from hitting. But at the same time, you you know you you want to be careful about it. So so you'll feel some resistance, and then you'll know you know that you've hit it. So you'll know that it's time to use a shorter screw. So that's pretty cool. And same as the previous GTS uh, motors I I reviewed, they're still using the same hardened um, shaft. This is hardened steel and it's hollow all the way through as you can see it's hollow all the way through and kind of interesting it's hollow but they've left the uh, they left it solid right there uh, just this little portion and uh, they're using a c-clip right here a circlip uh, to retain the shaft so kind of interesting but it, it is it is all hollow all the way through so that's good the shaft is, uh, of course, a single piece, and uh, it's it is four millimeters. So four millimeter shaft, and the bearings are the standard four by nine by four. So that's the good size bearings, and uh, these do come in CW and CCW rotation. Now you can see the arrows there pointing on the rotation of that the motor should should have these are CCW so the the thread is uh, standard and the CWs will have a reverse thread All right, so let's see what they weigh now these don't have any wire so I'll weigh them without the wire usually I weigh them with 50 millimeters worth of wire So 39.4. So okay, let's uh, let's take this apart and let's check uh, what's inside. All right. So once uh, we take out the circlip, then we can uh, take apart the bell. And here's the uh, stator. As you can see, uh, very nice windings, uh, single strand wire on this motor, and. Uh, this is actually pretty typical RC Empower uh, craftsmanship. Uh, they really make uh, motors quite uh, well, very well constructed, as you can see. And the stator is stator height is actually just a little bit, like a fraction of a millimeter uh, taller. It's like eight point 
two or something like that is just a little bit taller but you know it's pretty much eight millimeters uh, those are four by nine by four bearings that one came off uh, when I pulled the motor the shaft actually has really tight tolerances on the bearing so if it's really tight it feels in quite tight you have to really pull on it to uh, to get it out and there's the magnets uh, as you can see they are arc magnets and uh, they are using veins on the on the bell right there it's actually some kind of active cooling uh, design there so those are I assume they're designed to move air through the stator and and keep uh, the temps down so that's that's pretty good they incorporated that feature and there you can see you can more or less see the PCV uh, what else? It's got this texture base for the propeller so that it grabs the propeller quite well. It actually works really well. And no texture on the nylock, so that's good. This is best if it's smooth. And the shaft, as I mentioned, is it's fully hollow except for this little portion here. But it's hollow all the way through up to right about there. So, very well constructed motor. So, let's put it back together and let's get it on the thrust stand. Alright, so here are the thrust test results for the lower KV version of this large motor from RC Power, the GTS 2308 1850 KV. As you saw, the KV came in almost right on spot at 1845, so pretty good. Uh, so based on this KV, I was able to run this motor on 3S, 4S, and 5S. And no doubt this motor would run uh, 6S and even 7S on some of these props. It's just that uh, I didn't have 
the time to run all the props and all the possible voltage configurations. I, I never finished the, all the tests that I gotta do, so I had to, you know, I had to stop somewhere. So uh, pretty much I usually just run up to 5S, but it, it'll run 6S and even 7S, no problem. It's, this is a large stator, the motor is hardly ever getting stressed with some of these props, especially these five inch props. It'll spin him no problem. So you can be confident to run this on, on 6S. But anyway, uh, on the five inch props, I just tested the one, this one, the YS5045 by three, because th this is a, like, quite a large motor. So I don't know if a five inch prop would match well, you know, it's a I think uh, six and seven inch props would be a better match for this motor. But if you want to run it on, f on 5S or 6S with uh, any of these uh, five inch tri blades, it'll run it no problem. And uh, actually, pretty good uh, thrust uh, on 5S with the tri blade five inch uh, at very reasonable amps. So as you can see, the motor is hardly getting stress on 5S and pretty good numbers there, uh, 1770 at 37 amps. So that's that's quite efficient actually. So as we move on to the larger props, six inch, I think that's a better prop uh, on 4S and 5S for this motor. Easily clearing two kilograms on 5S and very reasonable amps only 42 amps so that that's quite impressive of course uh, you know the penalty is the weight of the motor but still you know would be nice for a uh, six or seven inch cruiser on the larger props even uh, the uh, tri-blade six inch on 4s uh, still pretty pretty good numbers uh, so this same prop uh, six inch by three on 5s made quite a lot of thrust to an almost two and a half kilograms at 58 amps so one of the highest thrust uh, numbers I've recorded out of all the thrust tests I've done but of course the amps are also gonna climb up that's still kind of reasonable keep in mind that this is static so in dynamic as the propeller on unloads these numbers are gonna be quite a lot more manageable as I always say you know it could be up to 35 even 40 percent lower so that makes it more manageable so still pretty doable I think on on 5s uh, with this motor and then as we move on to the seven inch props as you can see uh still on 3s uh pretty decent pretty usable thrust at a very low uh amps and then on 4s two kilograms and then this prop the seven inch uh, hq i went ahead and ran it on all three voltages 3s 4s and 5s uh kind of interesting uh, as you can see it kind of climbs up roughly about 500 grams for every additional cell that we supply here uh, on voltage uh, so 1400 2000 and uh, almost two and a half kilograms on the seven inch prop so so pretty capable motor uh, this motor has lots of torque uh, due to the um, uh, the tall stator eight millimeters uh, so pretty good option for as i said for maybe a uh, a cruiser on six or seven inch props with uh, somewhat uh, large uh, battery maybe a 1500 or 1800 even 2200 okay so there you go that's the thrust test for this big motor and hope you find the data useful and until the next video i still have a few of these rc power motors to test so keep an eye out for those i'll be testing them as eventually i'll get to them so uh, just uh, keep checking on the videos. I'll be putting them up as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.